Opponent can gain a lot of life. Oh, is it the is it a cane spell? Is it an Aatrox spell? Elameo. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> wow, it's so stupid. Donger. This matchup sucks. I don't want to keep Feral Presence because it's um going down a card. Not great. Hello! Alright, we have Beating Shock Blast card. Remember, we're the ones who make yikes, 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 yikes. Um, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> drop order! Fuck! Uh, skip. That would have been so sick, though, if I just hit drop order and we blow them out. Do you ever mulligan Echo? No, never. Just blocks here profitably and it really wants me to take boys so there isn't um i guess i take time trick make sure that we have echo flipped i don't really want to put anything back because our hand just kind of works out putting our opponent back up to shock blast mana or the make the turrets but i do go up a card so now we're technically even we'll play bakai forsaken basai I'll play Forsaken Boss A. If our opponent is trying to hold up... Oh. Um, if our opponent is trying to hold up Shock Blast, then like, it doesn't exactly get any better. If they're going to Shock Blast me next turn, I, unfor I actually can't keep Echo alive through Shock Blast, so maybe I should do something else. Because I, I have to cast Time Trick to level him. And then I have to absolve her. So it's just not quite what we're looking for. Let's try here. I think this is skip. Pass priority. If our opponent wants to end the turn, that's good with me. Okay. Not the card we wanted to see. What seems to be the Dong Meister. I'll take careful prep this time, just because I'd rather have careful prep than like one of the one drops. Like I, I would just like to change out one of the one drops for a different card. Never had luck. The thermo. Oh, don't have the thermo. Don't have the thermo. Yes, yes, again. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh. Was this mystic shot? I'm I'm down to play into that. Oh my goodness. Yep. You never learn. So my plan was to like absolve or pump echo. Perhaps we just let him go. Yeah, let's just hit Chrono. Just make it easy on ourselves, right? Like we always hit every time. Fuck, I told you. <laughs> Part of the rules. <laughs> it's coded into the game. <laughs> it's smaller than the diagram. It can be undone. Do I have Rider Negation in this deck? I do, right? 
anticipated outcome. Anticipated outcome. It's over 9,000. Elzamoth. Thank you for the prime, man. Well played. That's a sub. Give me some of that skill. Thank you. Yeah, it rubs off when you prime sub. Everybody knows this. That you get a little bit of it. Um, I don't want to just take time trick. I feel like that's bad. So I'm just going to skip. Okay, not great. No right in this list. That kind of makes sense with Jinx. All right, so opponent needs to have vengeance. Because I'm slamming and I'm motherfucking... 1.21 gigahexes. 1 gigahex. What up, Echo again? This is my time. Why does it make sense with Jinx? Really hard to get Rite of Negation out of your hands so you can flip Jinx. What up, what am I? And Raiders? What are Raiders? Alright, yeah, I mean, we slam it. Push, push damage. And I'm gonna cast Called Shot. <laughs> What do you think of Lulu Ari in your lineup and moving Jinx to another slot? That sounds really bad, man. <laughs> Playing Lulu Ari seems like not a smart idea. No, oh. I'm still sad. <laughs> still sad. I don't want you to kill him. We are looking for like Jinx. Uh, I also wouldn't mind Predict Kitty, Hexite Kitty, because Hexite Kitty with Parallel Convergence is sick. You just get more crystals put in. Oh man. I'm not going to shoot my own echo for that. Rewind. Things aren't going to improve themselves. Round and round and progress! Look at this. Get to work. Yeah, if we had the other four drop, we could like play other four drop and then parallel convergence and then everyone lives we're like kind of gucci with it but we don't have that uh, another absolver is pretty good they didn't have it they didn't have a vengeance before right i think we just make them have it Uh, I'm gonna skip. I'm looking for Jinx. Right. I remember this. Okay. So that's the plan. Let's do this thing. We hit all three drop borders, which is kind of disgusting. I wonder if our opponent was sitting on Ruination. I think they may have been sitting on Ruination. And was waiting for me to cast Revive and then they could Ruinate. But now they don't get an opportunity and they don't get to cast the 9-9 until after we already get the free attack. So, in theory, they go to 1 here. Which is pretty good for us considering, um... Get excited. Yeah, I 
I think you might have to block here. Oh, oh, you hit Vile Feast? Off Pogger's Day? Looking for Jinx. Jinx or get excited over everything. Get excited is very, very likely going to get us there. But I like to play these things safe. <laughs> there we go. You know, deja vu isn't what it used to be. Come on, people. Let's make tomorrow today. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> That should be GG. They killed all my decks. They killed them all. And then and then when Runeterra killed all the decks that I enjoy, they went and banned my flesh and blood deck yesterday. I'm out here having a time. Have to be careful not to go under 150. Nah, I'm not Let's really worried about it. Work. Coming through. Keep it up. Damn it. This is why I like I careful prep though. Cyclical war. So I can just put it back and I think that's kind of funny. Echo. Echo! So we'll draw him. Obviously. Uh, and then I'm thinking we put this guy back. Right. Uh, I'll take a voice of the risen. Put that on top. A little bit of Forsaken Bakai. We'll take a Jinx. And then I think we just pass. Come out from your shadows, demon. My website told you karma ye countered the meta yeah, is it <laughs> did 4lw write an article is that what's going on here <laughs> new tricks, new day, new you have to be really careful because scrying stands to death i go, to death I go. so we scrying stands here and then we block we could get hit with like Momentous choice. I mean, we just don't. We just don't block. No time like the present. Move it along, man. And maybe we just take it and then we play voice. And we just jam. Echo levels if he sands. No, I understand that. But if I sands, this goes to one. I block. Echo has three health. They momentous. I trade. I don't really want to trade. Trading bad. Yep. Especially that, like, I can play Voice of the Risen. They make life a lot more difficult for our opponent, right? They could play Pantheon, which I will attack through, by the way. Didn't realize they had Esbis. I'm glad I'm not the only one that says that. Alright, so we're going to drop this attack a little bit. Um, sure. Got a good feeling about tomorrow. Gear up. Let's keep Voice of the Risen back, but everything else is jamming. Together, stranger. Ha! Huh. This looking like possibly a uh, furious wielder. An end to war. Which is fine. It sucks. 
But then I just level Jinx next turn, and that becomes our plan. If you trade down the whole board here, we go back up to three spell mana. Assuming Furious Wielder, because this block doesn't really make any sense. Double Momentous? Sheesh! Into the Hush? God damn! So good! I didn't expect Hush. That's right, because we hit Revive here every time. All my Echo Jinx opponents always hit Revive. Every time. So, I should also hit Revive. I believe that's how that works. I told you. I told you. They always hit. It's like part of the deck. You just cannot miss. I don't know why it does that. I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> but that's just how the deck is. <laughs> You're gonna hit your Chrono Break, man. Coming off of like a pretty insane pro quest run of fourth, second, and first. <laughs> uh, no, no. Okay. Losing two cards is rough. And it's like really rough ones. Like, hello. Uh, hypothermia makes your like dash and draw my matchup so much worse. Remember, and, and, um, progress happen. and Rune Blade. And then Amulet makes your control matchup so much worse. The Kano time? Well, I don't really want to play Kano because I feel like people are going to show up with <laughs> more dash and more Droma, and that matchup sucks. But I do like playing Kano, so. Hey, Echo. Alright, we have two crystals in the deck. Naturally. I think I'm going to take a second echo. Hmm. Maybe I should take voice. No, I'll, I'll, I'll take voice. I'll take ahead, voice. We know how to prepare. Uh, it's like thermo beam or bust here, right? Never had luck. Never needed it. I think Dash probably most played deck rough for Kano. It's so rough. And Droma is such a miserable matchup too. Okay. So I'm expecting to see... Um, like a Vial or another Mystic or something. Jinx pretty good here. Because if we like... If we hit with Echo, I get the... Uh, <laughs> I get to shuffle away the Jinx and look for something else. If we don't hit with Echo, I want the Jinx because I'll need extra cards. Okay, the good news is that we have we have two Hexite Crystals in the deck. The bad news is that I'm out of Predicts. We didn't draw a Hexite Crystal. And we won't be able to flip Jinx yet. Because we have to go Voice of the Risen next, and then Jinx. And we need something cheap enough. Gross. To speak and be heard. That is true this is a lot of damage I have to start blocking. God, stupid ass fucking lore be gone, bro. Like now I can't rocket it away. Let's get to work. Okay, that works. If I hit Hexite Crystal, I don't flip Jinx, and that's hilarious. Okay. Doesn't go in my hand.
need to look for get excited. Yeah. The possibilities are endless. Or like, or time trick, or scrying sands, or anything that predicts. Because otherwise, I just die. We can't take rally. No, we don't. We won't have a chance to rally. We're worried about dying. <laughs> dying bad. Boo. Living good. Yay. Um, no, we need to find like scrying sands. Uh, time trick to look for hexite crystal. Get excited to kill four be gone. Anything like that. Like we could push a lot of damage here, but you're presenting lethal. Yeah, but I'm trying to be prepared for when things go wrong. <laughs> If things go right, we just win, and I don't need the rally anyway. And to block with elusive, but we didn't we didn't know that at the time, and that still could be not true. If it's a people problem, like Pona had six man. mana up, could have been a ton of stuff. Uh, yeah, we get in with voice as well. Really, just want to force blocks with that floor be gone. So like even now they don't have to block with or be gone. Come they have vile feast or mystic shot. Looks like they don't. Thank God. All right, we get looks. We get looks. Two hexite crystals in the deck. We could possibly get Jinx rocket. Uh, oh, we did not get Jinx Rocket. These were kind of nice, though. But I get priority. We get to Rocket. Damn. Okay, we know we know our opponent doesn't have Vile Feast or Mystic Shot, unless they just drew it. Because they would have cast it last turn. Uh, assuming things go wrong. I think it's still just get excited. We made it. Okay, well, we lose get excited. <laughs> so uh, that sucks, I guess, but <laughs> I'm pretty all right with it. Still got two Hexite Crystals floating around. Nice. That's a pretty good card to draw. Just in case. I don't know what, but just in case. Just Judgment. <laughs> GG, man. Bang, bang. I'll keep Kitty and the Bakai. Kitty cat. Or sheep on one would be fine here too. Like, Forge Chief on one probably would have been better, because then I would have gone Kitty Cat, Bakai next turn. I just am so, like, hardwired in my brain to play Kitty Please Cat on them. Make yourself right at home. I'm so hardwired in my brain to play Kitty Cat on one. Crystal. Damn, never lucky. Skip. Allow me. Crystal. Damn, never lucky. Take a cat. Alright, so if our opponent goes, um... Boye, then I'm still going to attack A. The crystal. Damn it. We're still jamming. Let's get to work. A brief engagement, but, but a joyous one. Maybe we don't jam. I think jamming has lost its uh, potency there. Third kitty. Well, 
Here's Kitty Cat. And then we hit Hexite Crystal here every time. We time trick, find Echo, but we get Hexite Crystal. Watch this. Ready? Okay, pretty close though. <laughs> pretty close though. We'll take it, right? <laughs> we still we still have one Hexite Crystal in the deck. Just in case we need another one. We still have one in the deck. Okay, that's good. We want to avoid, like, Gwen. Because if our opponent goes Gwen, might. <laughs> Gwen, might, attack. Shumpo, attack. We just <laughs> we just lose. <laughs> Which is really funny. Huh. Drop border. Pog. Whoa, cat. Uh Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Good mark. Mark gets you up to 11 damage. Alright. And we're, we have we have Absolver 1 and Absolver 2. It just means a different thing this time. Alright. That was obviously a skill diff. Clearly. I am just too talented. Excuse me. What's up, dude? What's your... What's your problem? <laughs> Do you have an issue? Huh? Something wrong? I didn't even I didn't even play a champion. I don't know how you can say that I got lucky. I didn't even draw a champion. In a deck that's fully reliant on its champions, I didn't draw a single one. So really, I was unlucky and I still won. Did I get your did I get my account unbanned? Nope. This matchup is really bad, by the way. We are going to need an Absolver. But they fix that and get your account up, man. Me too, man. Uh, doesn't let it close Friday AM. Yeah, I won't be able to play after the stream. I will not be playing. Until literally seasonals. I seek a weapon worthy of Naga Keboros. I will be very, very busy. Voice of the Risen is probably pretty necessary for us to win the game. With the power of time, the possibilities are endless. Don't touch it. For flesh and blood reasons? No, I'm just I'm super slammed all weekend. I have no no time for anything from Wednesday night on. I turn it like so. Not much sport. I just stream up and was trying not to queue into you. The minute I close it, you scar me for life. Yeah. That's on you. <laughs> hey, I play that guy. Uh, I'll take a pass. I want to time trick when I know that I have... um. When I have, like, a little bit more information.
God damn it. I wish I had a time trick. <laughs> terrible things lay inside. Oh, terrible things do lay inside. Resident's probably pretty good. Never had luck, never needed it. A voice from within. Okay. Uh I'm thinking momentous choice then. Posture check, alright. Yeah, I'm thinking there's a momentous choice here, because otherwise you never block there. Like, you never- attacking into an Echo into Scrying Sands would be, like, pretty brutal for our opponent. Let's take a peek at what's on top. Look at Scrying Sands. That's probably good enough to keep, because it makes Furious Wielder, which is one of their I best ways of dealing with Echo, like bad. That. I'm just going to start here. Um, yeah, I'm going to start here. We can do this after. I just want to get this hit in. We don't really have, like, the board to make Voice of the Risen work very well. Skip this, I think. Uh, no, I like careful prep on drop order. <laughs> it's too much value to turn down, right? The child is gone. Yet the killer remains. Yep, 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 more kitties. Crystal usually not the insane card that it is in this match. Like, Crystal not the insane card it normally is in this particular matchup, but still pretty good. What are you going to go after? gonna go here if we're sticking with the momentous choice in hand then could go after voice hey, of the risen can't safely go after echo pretty acceptable Then I think I'm gonna cast this called shot. Is it worth absolving there? Yeah, I don't think so. But I don't know. Hey, Jinx. Nice draw. Am I giving anything away here? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they'll figure it out? <laughs> All right, we have like what three hexite crystals in deck now? Because I uh, doubled the kitty, or just two? Okay, it looks like just two hexite crystals in deck. Darn. How foolish! Feel like there's gonna be a strike there. Um, but if I go like this, I 
Gotta do something. Like there's a strike coming. I don't think I froze time. Speaking of freeze, that would be pretty brutal. So we look for a nice casual hexite crystal. You are the tool. I am the weapon. Nice to be your feeble mind. That was pretty that was a pretty great hit. Uh Forge Chief is pretty free. So I think I'll take it. Oh, right. I remember this. Because we can take it, play it, and then oh, chrono break back up to today. six wide. We keep up scrying sands, which I don't know might do something. Inevitable death. Inevitable death. I feel like there's no strikey spell, but maybe there is a strikey spell. Pony can gain a lot of life. Oh, is it the is it a cane spell? Is it an Aatrox spell? LMAO. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow, so stupid. Alright, where's the after party? Oh my god, that was so dumb. Basilisk still running, huh? Keep a cat. Will I bring Echo Jinx to Seasonals? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I was thinking about um <clears throat> a Jinx deck, so fuck no. LOR was an in-person game. No one would ever let me shuffle my own deck. Didn't Mo say something like that? Didn't Mo Mo tweeted is like he, like, it's lucky that you can't cheat in LOR because everyone would think Majin's a cheater. Remember, we're the ones who make progress. Definitely going to develop. Kitty. Dope. Uh, we need to predict, so I guess I'll actually just take Chrono. Man, I'm good. Ooh, nice casual seven damage. Let's this deck go, good's like super wide, really fast. <sighs> uh, we don't actually have a way to flip Echo on Curve. I'm gonna put get excited in my hand. Just cause like just cause we're pushing so much damage. Take it. See what I've learned? Just gonna open. Of 
Where'd the noob command come from? Yeah, someone said it. Yeah. Someone just said, hey. I was playing like red. I was playing the, the new red Gwen deck for YouTube. I was like showing you guys how it worked. And someone came in and was like, one day this deck will be nerfed and you will become noob. And I was like, damn, that sucks. <laughs> and then I made it a command. And that's the story. Quite inspiring. Really. I do say so myself. Okay, if we draw zero mana predict, we get to flip Jinx and rock it. Was that a YouTube video? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it is. Another Jinx. That's a lot of get excited. Man, Majin is now noob. No, they have to nerf this deck first. Then I'm then I'm noob. If I stumble, I have mm -hmm. the earth to cast That's like what they had to have. Make quick work. To stay in this game, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. Play Jinx. Echo's like vulnerable here to drop the bomb or whatever that card is, the two mana card, and that would just be embarrassing. They're going to have like a full board, so we're basically transitioning to burn plan. Halfway decent chance, like a get excited your face, <laughs> pass priority. Okay, get excited your face, <laughs> pass priority. I'm actually supposed to ditch Echo. Because, well, no. I mean, it doesn't end up mattering, but I was like, if they ride of Arcane Jinx, then I could actually just play Jinx, play Kitty, and then rock it, but going for lethal better. You don't put them both on the stack at the same time here because you get right of negation. If Basilisk elects to Ride of Arcane Jinx... Uh, I kind of feel like I'm supposed to let it resolve and then play another Jinx, even though it doesn't technically go for lethal. Well, it looks like we're going for lethal. Time's up. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it is really fun. It is really funny. What up, KFL? It is really funny that someone came in and said that like I'm gonna once once Red Gwen gets nerfed, I'm gonna be a bad player. When I had like historically never really played Red Gwen. Uh yep. And um, <laughs> I climbed to Masters on Rise Yi. Together, we are stronger than stone, faster than the wind. They have it, they have it. Yeah, they had it. Wait until your least favorite deck of all time gets nerfed, then we'll see how bad you are. Yeah. Yeah. We nerfed all your other decks, so now we're going to nerf the ones you hate but have to play. And then you're going to be bad. I don't want to attack into this. If our opponent has quicksand up, I just won't attack with Jinx. I could attack with the, a couple Dinkers. Like, they just trade here and here, though, so it's probably just not worth it. I'll just pass. And then draw a Hexite Crystal. Yeah, or I truck get excited. <laughs> yeah, I don't want <laughs> All these things are fine. I 
Just can't wait! Here we go! Another day! Another explosion! <laughs> yeah, we are here high rolling people. Sorry, Basilisk. Alright, watch. We're still gonna get 15. Doubled. All right, Vasilis has about 1,200 LP. We're still only going to get 15. Watch this. Yep. Still only get 15. All right, quick bathroom break, and then we'll be back and trying to keep running it up. I'll BRB.